this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts of all time. And it comes to us out of the Y off trips pats formation in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. The play we're going to be going over today is Y option wheel. Now, if you want to get my entire offensive ebook on this formation, uh, join the Patreon. It actually gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates and anything new that we're doing in these offenses. So if you want to get access to that, I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player and you get access to literally everything over there. You get all the ebooks, all the updates, everything for just $10. The link's in the description if you want to sign up. Now, what we're talking about today is we're talking about one of the best route combinations of all time. And it is this route combination that is essentially, if you understand route combos, route combos can cross apply formation to formation. And today we're talking about the shallow cross passing concept. This is my personal favorite way to pass in Madden every single year because this concept is able to consistently attack man coverage able to consistently attack zone coverage, able to consistently attack match coverage, and is also able to really do a great job of being extremely versatile. And you can actually create several different pass protection strategies out of this as well. All right. So what we're going to do with this is we are going to create a little bit of a pass protection uh, strategy here. We're going to slide to the right. We're going to block our running back. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to streak our out or our uh, slot receiver here on the right, and then we are going to in route our outside trips receiver. Now, this is the the primary shallow cross concept, if you will, is between this left side kind of post route and the tight end drag. However, there's an alternate shallow cross concept in which we're going to bring that outside trips receiver underneath that streak. And it's going to kind of create the same basic thing. We're just going to layer it a little bit so that it fits with the progression. So our first read is to the left side of the screen. If that defender goes back with that post route, then we are looking to throw this tight end underneath as a shallow cross. That is a absolute critical, critical element to this offense. If they, if that left side guy matches or goes with that guy, then we're throwing the tight end. And with the way rack catches are in this game, this is one of the best route combinations in the game because that shallow cross route can go for a touchdown if, um, you know, if they, if we get a good animation. Okay. So now we have to obviously think through what are some ways that they will defend this. And really the most uh, significant way to start off the bat here is we're going to take, this is our user here. And we are just going to basically what we would call cut the crosser. So they're going to cut the crosser with their user defender. And to imitate that, I'm going to put him on a hard flat. That just means the user is going to take the drag underneath. If the user takes the drag underneath here, then we're going to look over the top to this post route, as you can see, over the middle. Now, if they have a KO, they have a KO. But bottom line is he gets separation against man coverage. And you want to look to throw that if they cut the crosser. We'll show you another example here wait on a little bit more this time, and you see he's able to get really good separation against main coverage. So if the, if the user lurks and snaps back on this post, then they have to have some help to defend the tight end route. Oftentimes what that's going to mean is this guy is going to be in a hard flat. This guy is going to probably be in a third, and then they might you know do some things like this on the right-hand side of your screen. And then again, this is their user, and he's going to play practically like a mid-read defender. So he's going to drift back and take the post route, and you'll see right here why this has uh, – you see how he's able to lurk the post route, okay? So if their user chooses to go to the post route and they have a flat defender on that right side, we can't really throw this tight end shallow route. But this is where the genius of this passing concept comes in. And this is why this has been one of the best passing concepts in Madden history. Because now what's going to happen is that tight end is going to pull that hard flat to the left side. And it's going to clear out the middle of the field. And this is where this backside in route, you'll see it right here, come wide open underneath for an easy, easy check down on this play. The beauty of this is this is going to beat every single zone in the game. It's not just going to beat man coverage. Because if you think about it, where, where do most people 
user, most people use her in the middle of the field. So because of the spacing of U trips, you're going to be able to get this consistently. So if we look here to the left side, okay, they're down. We're going to look to that and we see how we have that. See, we have that post route over the top. How do they stop that post route over the top? It doesn't matter if it's cover three. It doesn't matter if it's cover four. It doesn't really even matter if it's cover two. The only way that they can stop this post route consistently over here on the left side is they have to take their user defender and they have to basically back up. Okay, they have to back up with their user defender. So because they have to back up with their user defender, it leaves a massive void underneath. And what you'll see right here, tight end's gonna clear it out. You see, they go there. If we wait on this, we can throw this kind of underneath. Now, obviously right there, they had three yellow zones underneath. Most people aren't gonna have that because now what are they susceptible to if they were to do that? So if they were to have like a, like a traditional cover two, right? But they shade it underneath. And again, the user's job is he's going to basically user this post. If they do this, they have three yellow zone defenders underneath and they have two hard flat defenders. That's kind of a, a, in a way like, okay, they called the right defense for the right situation. And if they can user this post route good enough, they can stop us. If they don't user the post route good enough, the post route's going to be open. However, the important, important uh, point here is we force all of those different adjustments. So now they have to have a significant amount of underneath defenders to be able to properly defend this play. So that then leaves them vulnerable to a simple corner route to the right side because there's no defenders on that deep sideline. So this is kind of like a little chess match here in terms of the way that it's practically going to play out. And the most common defense that you're going to be seeing probably is some type of variation of a defense that basically looks like this. The problem with this defense that we're showing you on your screen here is that tight end is going to clear out that flat defender. They have to go use her the post defender. And so that leaves this guy right underneath. And now he's got a lot of space to be able to make some things happen. This is one of the most effective passing concepts ever in Madden. So make sure that you're adding something like this to your offense. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire uh, Patreon where you get access to all of our eBooks and updates and everything in there, including the U-Trip stuff, it's only $10 to sign up. You can sign up by heading down to the description and then clicking the link down below.